Hey guys, and welcome back to CryptoStat. Today I'll be going through the, the raw data that comes through in the statistics side of things. Where the data actually comes through and you capture it uh, to go through and actually understand what it means, how you can utilize it to your best advantage, and just a few different uh, tools that we have in here that you can utilize to just streamline your training, streamline your understanding of what's going on, and make it as simple as you can uh, all in one place. So let's go ahead and have a look. So once you log into CryptoStat, this is where you land. This is the statistics and then Binance tab up the top here. Uh, we have the Bitcoin markets and also the Tether markets. Uh, but today we'll be just focusing on Bitcoin markets as they are the same, uh, you know, throughout the whole uh, setup. So Bitcoin and Tether, exactly the same sort of um, understanding of how this whole works. So let's go and have a look. So once you land in here, you have your own preferred settings. So if you'd like to change anything, uh, that shows up or doesn't show up. So let's say for example sake I want to know what the 24 high is and a 24 low is for any particular coin um, It just comes through right here for us as a price as you can see there for me I'm not too fussed about that. I don't want to be looking at that right now And if you want to declutter this space as well uh, You can as well just because there is a lot of data you can go let's say the price every five minutes It doesn't really bother you the price change the volume change every five minutes or even a 15 you can declutter this just to make it suit you and work for you as best as, you know, whatever suits you as a personal trader. Um, everyone is different. Everyone has their set preferences to how they work. So let's go ahead and throw the volume and, and the price for 15 minutes for me here. Now, you can sort this out by any particular thing by clicking on it. It gives you from highest to lowest or lowest to highest as well. Uh, so for the bias, buying power right here for EVE, it's at currently at 52.73%. Uh, a little bit lower than where it was a few days ago, probably about 60%. And you can see that represented in price. I mean, EVE hit $200 uh, to the point, and now has fallen back down uh, to about $192, $193, and went as low as $189. So let's go and have a look. It's pretty straightforward, these things here. So the price change in the last 24 hours, has it been negative or positive? Uh, and a price change 60 minutes 30 minutes etc etc so and then we have the volume change now how do you how do you marry those two up it's pretty powerful to see where we've been going in volume and where that how that price has been reflected so if we have a look on volume we're up 30 percent on ethereum in the last 24 hours but the price is currently negative 1.3 percent now that may be just an overflow of people buying and then you have a price change falling where we just sort of consolidating um, and then if you have something that look at like a FTT, we have a 75% increase here in volume. FTT, you know, yesterday was like 14% in volume, or two, yesterday or the day before, 14, sorry, uh, BTC volume. And now it's currently sitting at 42 volume. So that's actually, you know, moved quite, quite a bit. Now let's have a look at how that's reflected in the price overall in the last two, three days. So just by doing that, this is another cool uh, little tool here, just to make your trading, I guess, more streamlined and simple. So let's say right here you're logged in on your on your own computer on Binance, and you're also on CryptoStat, and you're you're going through and you're checking out what's what's cool. Oh, and you see, you know, FTT is down seventy five percent in volume in the last twenty four hours, and you want to go and have a look at it. Traditionally, you'd go and open a new tab or go to your Binance account, you know, look at markets and find FTT. Well, through CryptoStat, if you are logged in or if you are not, if you are logged in though, if you click this little tab here, it actually takes you to FTT, to that particular pair that you want to look at, um, right there on Binance. And if you're logged in on your computer, you'll actually be logged in through your account right here and you can instantly start trading. So let's go ahead and have a look at what happened to the price in the last uh, two days. So from the third... Well, this is a Binance issue right now, not a crypto side issue. Let's refresh that. Well, let's just go to old website for a second. Just to make this simpler. So let's go and have a look at what happened in the last three days to the price. So from the fourth, from the fourth, what are we on now? The 25th, and it was probably the 22nd or so. So right here, about here, it was about 14 BTC volume. Now the price has, uh, sorry, the volume has increased from, you know, 14 to 42, which is almost like a 200% or so increase in volume, but the price has actually fallen 
Um, and there's there's a few reasons for that. We have the MACD down the bottom there, and you can see it's actually crossed bearish. Now, how does that work for a crypto stat? There's so many things that you can utilize within crypto stat to give you a trading edge, right? So if you go back to crypto stat right now, and mind you, that's a really cool, cool thing. I mean, just to be able to click a button to take you to your account uh, for that particular pair that you're looking at saves you time, saves you messing around. At the end of the day, for me, it's about focus. I'm so hyper focused on what I'm doing in that particular, you know, in that time that if I go through the Binance, someone else might catch my um, eye, and then I've totally forgotten about what I was looking at, and then I look back two, three days, you know, in the future, I look back and I go, oh no. What happened to FTT? I, I was looking at it. What what did I get distracted by? Whereas this just doesn't allow that to happen. You just click on it, it takes you right there, and you can value it. What's going on? Now I'm going on that. I'll come back to this page. If we go to statistics and Binance MACD scanner, and we look up FTT, there it is, right? And we want to bring up that chart. If we have a look at the um, MACD, and that was on the daily. We were looking at the daily um, stats. And you can see we, we crossed bearish here. We confirmed on the next day. And then we've crossed bearish once again. We've gone and gone bullish and we crossed bearish again on the daily. All you had to do was look right here. And on the daily, you can see it was on a, on a bearish stance for the last, you know, few days. 22nd. Yeah. So I would have looked at that volume increasing. But where are we at on the MACD? We're actually bearish. And you can see the price has been slightly represented there. Not majorly, but it has come down slightly. And if we have a look at actual price change there, you know, we have it open here at 3841, and we're currently at 3722 cents. So there's a slight change there. It's not major, it's probably about 3, 4%, 2% or so. But you can see how to utilize those tools all in the one place when you're looking at stuff like that. So for me particularly, I'd look at FTT and say, okay, volume has moved, uh, the buying power, let's have a look at the buying power. Okay, buying power is quite high, but for the volume, it's not that great. So, you know, you can evaluate all these little bits and pieces and make a decision as to where you're going uh, in the future. And, you know, I look forward to doing live videos on this as a, as a whole while you guys have access to this. And, um, you know, we can all get a better understanding and how to utilize it. You know, someone else might say, you know, there's a really cool way of identifying a trade because experience really goes a long way. When you when you start to play around with it and try and understand how to identify trades, it makes a big difference. Another thing we have here is uh, this little cool I button here. and gives you information on any particular pair that you want or any particular token uh, coin it's right there for you click on it gives you the last all-time high when it when it happened the change since and the actual price of it uh, circulating supply your total volume and the current rank so it's pretty much like a market cap sort of thing you can unclick off it we can also bring up charts here so if you just want to click quickly have a chart and you don't really want to open up Binance whatever exchange that you're currently using you can just do that and click on the charts and you know you can use TA tools and do whatever you need to do right here. We also have uh, a price to volume correlation chart, which is the last little icon there at the end. This indicates volume, so you can see volume is the blue bar. Volume has been increasing for FPTC, and the price has slightly been increasing at the same time. Uh, first, we had we had an increase in, in volume first, um, whereas price was really falling. And then you can see price really caught back up up to the volume. And now we have a little decline in, in volume and we have a little yeah, slight surge in price, nothing major. So this really helps. And once you understand how this works, you start to see a trend in it. For particular pairs, it, it acts differently. So every single pair is slightly different as to how the price to volume correlation chart actually helps you identify the trend. Because that's what it's all about. We're not here to show you how to catch a top or a bottom. I mean, that's probably one of the hardest things that you can do in training is catch the bottom and, and, and then, you know, buy the bottom and sell the top. We're just here to, you know, show you the trend, try and identify the trend and trade with the trend. I think that's the best scenario for anybody. If you're, you know, new to trading, if you're, even if you've been doing it for a few, 
three, four, five years. You know, I know people 15 years have been training and still just follow the trend. You know, they identify it and then follow the trend. And for them it works, and I think it works for the majority of people. We also have keyboard shortcuts here that you can utilize. Um, so switching to markets, so from Bitcoin market to Tether market. Uh, some people like to use this stuff. For me personally, I'm just, you know, a click guy and type it up uh, rather than throw a little um, shortcuts here. But some people might want to use it. So we have like a, a volume filter as well. So if we go back to settings, we have a volume filter here. Let's say you want the minimum volume to be 100 BTC. It will only show you the markets who have 100 BTC. So if we go to the volume, you can see the last one there is 101. So 51 current pairs against Bitcoin currently have 100 BTC, which is actually quite a high number at the moment. Um, if we done this three days ago, you'd probably be looking at 30, 35. Um, so seeing 51, it just means that the sort of market's really picking up. And, you know, you, you don't only have to look at, uh, you know, the buying power or anything else. You can also go volume change. So if you have a look, EDX, volume change. Look at the volume change in the last 24 hours. What was the price um, effect there? Let's go and have a look. And really, nothing. I mean, we had a surge here. It wasn't even too much of a surge. It was probably like a 10% surge and then a fall back down. So volume just shows that someone was buying it. But for what reason? And to me, it just looks like a certain individual or a certain group of people have actually purchased this here. And, you know, people have sold it right back down and it's sitting at the same price. It could be an accumulation phase for this. You know, there's all different types of scenarios and a whole lot of other stuff that we really need to identify before we go ahead and look at it. Uh, you have power here with 700% and a price change of 4.7%. Steam here, we have 300% and a price change of 21%. So, and that's a lot of volume for Steam, to be honest. Steam probably hasn't seen that sort of volume since the last time YouTube banned all crypto stuff. So, you know, all these little things, fundamentals and stuff, which you'll find in here as well. We have a fundamentals tab, if you can see here. And it has all news and stuff like that that comes through and filters out. So just on that volume thing, we just turn it back to zero and close off the settings. So there's a whole lot of stuff here that you can utilize. You might be scalping in the five minute and you want to know what's really moving in the, in, you know, the five minute sort of ranges. You can look at, five, uh, at the price change on the five minute. You can see here, hot with seven volume has done 25%. It's probably moved one Satoshi, yet yeah, it has. It's gone from four to five uh, right there. So... I wouldn't take that as a, a big indicator, but price change in, a, in the last five minutes at 2.5% is a big change in a five minute um, segment. And you can see in the last 24 hours, it's done 16.4 here for Hive. A lot of volume, and it looks like it's just been listed. So it makes sense that you know those numbers are coming through. And you can see right here in the right hand tab, there's been a few buyers here and then a whole lot of sellers and a few buyers here. So it's just pretty much trying to find its price and what's happening. And you see the MACD here is just crossing at the moment uh, on the hourly. If it confirms, it might just bounce back a little bit. You know, you never know. So going back on here, we have all the, all the pairs listed on Binance here. Uh, we do have a, other exchanges, but nothing really has as much trading pairs uh, with a decent amount of volume. Obviously, Binance is a leading exchange at the moment within the crypto space. And we want to be bringing the information that's coming from the exchange that most people are trading on. So this was just a quick video on how to utilize these things, how to understand them and just have a basic understanding. We don't expect you to understand it fully yet. And you will over time, like I said. So guys, I really hope uh, you got something out of this video. I really hope it cleared up a few things within it. And yeah, I look forward to utilizing these tools with you guys on the live video. It's, it's going to be really cool. I'm really looking forward to it. Cheers, guys. Thanks.